Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Maddie. I'm a reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And in today's video, I am going to be shipping with you guys. I do have five Poshmark sales and four eBay sales, zero Mercari. Have you guys seen that everyone is in an uproar about Mercari because now they have changed their policies so that although there are zero selling fees, now anyone on Mercari can return anything for any reason. So a lot of people are thinking that there's going to be a lot of false returns. Maybe someone will buy something and then wear it a time or two and return it, etc. So leave your comments down below what you think of that whole scandal, if you will. But let's go ahead and get into shipping. I am wearing my Ranger shirt. Thank you to my father-in-law, Chuck, for buying me this because I am filming this on opening day. Are you guys baseball fans? I definitely am. I grew up with a brother who plays baseball and I resented it at the time, but now I think it's really cool that I know all about the sport. Okay, for real this time, let's get into shipping. So starting with Poshmark orders. The first item that I do have to ship is a Jules top. This is a UK brand. They also are known for their rain boots. They make clothes. Honestly, the clothes don't do very well. I only pick it up if it's 99 cents. This ended up selling for $21 and it took a while. <laughs> it definitely did take a while. I had to sit on it. I'm Fortunately, it is a smaller piece of clothing, so I didn't take up that much room in inventory, but I have never had luck moving tools quickly. How do you guys feel about it? I've also only sold the rain boots like once or twice, and even those I feel like didn't do as well. They're kind of like knockoff hunters, but normally they have like a pattern, whereas hunters are solid. So I did go ahead and wrap this in tissue paper. Since this is Poshmark, I am going to use a free mailer. This is the padded flat rate envelope and then we'll just slide it in there. I just changed my labels for my Dymo printer and if you have a Dymo printer, you know how temperamental the machine is and if you don't load them correctly, it goes haywire and that is definitely what just happened to me. So I did bulk print all of my Poshmark sales but it's, it's going crazy. So fortunately I printed, but it took a few rounds of trial and error. The next sale was a pretty fast flip. This is old tag Talbot. You guys can tell it is the old tag. That is their old logo. This is in the size four petite and it's this really pretty rose printed dress. I use the word Easter in here. Now, unfortunately, this will definitely not arrive in time for Easter. They didn't say that they were buying this for Easter, so I don't think it will affect anything. But tomorrow is actually Good Friday. So after this, I am going to drop all my pa packages off at the post office since they will not be picking up any of the packages. It also does have this um, removable belt that came with it. So I'm just going to kind of like loop that around the dress so that it is there with the item and the buyer doesn't open up a case for it missing the belt. Someone gave me like three stars once. This was fairly recently and they put you didn't include the belt. I thought that for sure that there was going to be a belt because there's loops. You should have mentioned that in your description. So I was like fully prepared to apologize to the person for making that error. But then I went to my listing and it literally said missing removable belt in the listing. So I was like, hey, I'm really sorry that you're disappointed, but I did disclose that the belt wasn't there. And she was really nice about it. She was like, oh my gosh, I feel so bad. I don't know how I missed that. And she changed my rating to five stars, but it just really proves that people don't always read, myself included. So I'm not calling people out. I have certainly not read descriptions fully, but it, it was just kind of funny. This next shirt was a really fast flip. I listed this about a week and a half to two weeks ago. This is J Jill. J Jill definitely does not always move this fast. This is in a size extra large and really what made this sell so quickly is that it is this velvet material. I have sold J Jill velvet blouses before and just velvet blouses in general from other brands and they always get a lot of attention and a lot of traction. So this ended up selling for $28. 
And this is also a silk blend, so I definitely did include that in my description. This, I want to say, had like six likes on it, so definitely a piece to be on the lookout for if you can source it inexpensively. The next item to sell took a year to sell. This is something I got in March of 2023. I did source it for 99 cents. The brand on this is Cabby. This was in a size extra, extra small, but this is a really cute, comfortable, like sweatshirt material dress. There's this really like feminine cut at the bottom where it like flounces out. So definitely definitely something that you can lounge around in or you could dress up i could see someone wearing this with like tennis shoes it did only end up selling for 15 dollars after that long wait but it is okay cabbie never really sells for much in my opinion but i will say like i i always just have like a soft spot for it so i do pick it up if i can find it for 99 cents i probably wouldn't pay more than 99 cents for cabbie unless it was a jumpsuit, in which case I would look up comps because I have sold some cabbie jumpsuits for like $50 to $75 before in the past. I have not found a cabbie jumpsuit in quite some time though. I normally find their blouses. And I did admittedly have a really good bundle sell for cabbie on Poshmark probably like three weeks ago, maybe a month ago. Time. It's such a blurred concept for me. I can never remember when anything sold. And it was a bundle of, I want to say, five cabby blouses. And they sold for like $90. And it was an offer that the buyer sent me. And I was flabbergasted, shocked, excited, immediately clicked accept. So you never know what's going to sell. And the last Poshmark sale that I am going to pack up on camera is this Torrid dress. This is a really fun printed dress. It's like a very casual jersey dress. Just something that you can throw on and not think about. I love the mixed pattern, but it only sold for $9. This is in a size 1X and Torrid just doesn't do well for me anymore. Like even for 99 cents, I really hesitate to pick it up. I've had this for a while too. I want to say I have this since February of 2023, so over a year. So I don't know. What do you guys think about Torrid now? And then I did make one more sale on Poshmark, but the buyer sent me a message and asked if I could wait until Monday to ship this off. It's currently Thursday. I said, yes, of course, I will wait. And that item, I'm just going to insert a scream grab is an umg waffle knit blouse it had these really fun sleeves on it umg is just a boutique brand and this is something i sourced for 99 cents in november of 2023 so it took like five months to resell it only sold for 16 dollars but hey anything that i can flip relatively quickly that i only sourced for 99 cents i'm always happy with Moving on to eBay, the first item on eBay is this men's polo. This is just by the brand Ping. I would not recommend like committing that to memory. It is a Texas A&M polo and I actually bought this for my husband in February of last year and it ended up being too big for him so he said just resell it and it only ended up selling for $13.80. This is not something that I would get to resell personally like it took a while and then it didn't sell for that much so definitely not something to be on the lookout for but college shirts can do okay if you can find like a good collaboration um like a peter millar like texas a&m college shirt would do really well or if you can find like a cute victoria secret pink it can do okay but just like pink and like these kind of more inexpensive college wear lines like I wouldn't recommend picking them up. So since this is eBay, we are going to use the scale. So this is going to be a lighter weight item and I know it's gonna go USPS ground advantage. So I am going to put it into an eBay mailer. I got some new eBay mailers with my store credit. These ones are colorful, whereas my other ones were just black and white. And we're just going to slide this in here. getting all the air out of the item. You can see it's in there really nicely. Weighing this, it's going to weigh 10 ounces or 9.4 ounces, but I'm rounding up to 10. 
and going USPS Ground Advantage, it is going to cost $5 to ship. It is just going to Spring, Texas. So I honestly don't know where Spring, Texas is. I want to say it's outside of Houston. I live in the DFW area, so it's not going far. I would think that it would cost less to ship, but no, it didn't. And I had free shipping on this item. So it did eat into my selling cost a little bit. An item that I have had forever and I definitely would not source again is this Madewell dress. This is the old Madewell tag. You can tell because it says 1937. This is like very old, like I want to say over a decade old. This is in a size extra small. So it is definitely a smaller size as well. It does have pockets though guys. Come on, selling point. It is just like this nice career wear dress, but I've had them since November of 2022. So it is long overdue to leave my home and someone sent me an offer for $7.50 and I said, yeah, I was like, yes, please buy it from me. I do remember this is a 99 cent find, but I wouldn't even get this for 99 cents now. It's just not really what Madewell is known for. Like I don't think Madewell and think career wear dress. I think, you know, denim. I think kind of more like rustic prairie s dresses, basics, but definitely not the style of dress. This is something that I would think like Ann Taylor Loft would have. So again, this is going to be a little bit lighter weight. It is going to go USPS at Ground Advantage, eBay mailer once again. Always make sure that when you're weighing your item for eBay, you are weighing it when it is fully packaged up. You can't just weigh the item itself. The packaging does count as part of your weight. This weighs 10.7 ounces and I'm gonna round that up to 11 ounces. I charge the buyer $5.50 for shipping. It's going to cost $5.45 for shipping. So I made a whopping five cents off of their shipping. Woo. The next item to sell is an Athleta piece. This is a new, sorry, this is a new-ish Athleta tag. I don't think it's the newest. This took a while to resell. This is one of their more popular cardigans though. I think it's called the uh, Praia Mama or something like that. They have weird names for their stuff. But there is some pilling throughout, which of course I did disclose, but like frankly, it's just the fabric. Anytime I find anything like this from Athleta, it's pilled. So that was disclosed. The buyer sent me an offer for $15 on this and I accepted. I have not been picking up too much Athleta lately and if I do pick it up, I will pretty much only get it for 99 cents because I've noticed unless it's like a plus size piece or if it's a tennis skirt or a tennis dress, it doesn't do very well. Joggers can do okay, but I've even noticed they decline in joggers but really like truly and I hate how pessimistic this sounds but it's how I'm feeling and it's it, in my viewpoint is the truth it seems like there's just a decline in everything right now so definitely be mindful what you pay for things again eBay mailer then we will weigh this this again is going to go USPS Ground Advantage. I buy all of my labels straight from eBay. This is 13 ounces exactly. I'm still just going to round up to 14 just to be on the safe side. I'm a rule follower, okay? I charge the buyer $7.60 for shipping and it's only going to cost $6.09 to ship it out. So I did make just a little bit off of their shipping. And the last item that we are going to package up in today's video is a Ted Baker piece. This is an old-ish Ted Baker tag. Definitely not one of the newer ones. This is in a size two, which is vanity sizing. It is a, actually a size medium. This is like a classic Ted Baker shirt. I've sold this style shirt a lot before. The back is plain. This sold for $15. I definitely could have held out for more, but my sales have been very slow lately, so I've just been accepting a lot of things. I'm trying to move inventory because I was just, I had too much inventory for a while. I had like over 1,300 pieces 
and that's just not what I want to manage anymore. So I think I'm down to like 1,215 or something like that, which is better. I'm going in the right direction. So because of that, again, putting this in an eBay mailer, because of that, I have not been sourcing that much recently, especially because um, if you haven't seen my last video, I kind of just talk about the future of my reselling business and my current career goals and plans but especially because I am going to go back to teaching full-time I don't want a massive closet honestly like 1200 is probably the most that I want anymore and I have just found that sales have been really slow and sourcing more isn't really necessarily the best option this weighs 4.2 ounces going to round up to five. So because of that, I have definitely been clearing out older inventory. I have not really been sourcing the entire month of March. I'm definitely gonna go sourcing again in April, but I think I only went sourcing two times in March and it felt good. And my sales, like when you break it down into my net profit, it's about the same as what I've been making the other months because I don't know I just it's a weird time in reselling it's a weird time in the economy in general it's a weird time to be a millennial and feel like wow this is how I'm starting out more or less this is how I'm going into my 30s with the economy like this and don't get me wrong I know there's ups there's downs etc and it's constantly you know like swinging it's a pendulum but it's hurt it's been hurting um, so this is going to cost $4.47 to ship USPS ground advantage. I charged the buyer $5.76. So it did make a little bit off of their shipping fees. That is everything that I had to ship today. Let me know in the comments down below how have your sales been lately. I hope they've been great. If you enjoy this video. Please do make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.